Okay, we're back, and we're going to go into Coquitas, which is the icy, the icy floor of hell. Um, we're going to pop on the cold resistance ring. We still have four pips of MR, so this is fine. Gives us a little bit of AC and EV, one, one point each, noth nothing to speak of really. Um, Octopus King is a little bit overrated, but... Hey, it's, uh, it's a pip of RC, and that's what we need to go in here, ideally. And we'll just head right in. Now, Ice Form is not a bad move here, uh, but we're going to be in Staff Form for probably most of our fighting, since with the ring we have the RC+. Plus. Um, if Control and Dead spawns, which it has... Uh, it's not a bad thing to have in here. Oh look, a malign gateway. Um, you know, how about this? Let's go ahead and memorize deflect missiles since we'll want it eventually anyway. Let's drop this book. And let's go ahead and pick up control on dead, I guess. We got plenty of... Um, We've got plenty of amnesia, so uh, yeah, we have three amnesia, so that's enough to take out things that we don't want if we need anything else, although this should be fine for pretty much the rest of the game. Um, and we'll actually train up a little bit of necromancy. So yeah, back to Kokitas. And the reason I do that is this branch, surprisingly more than Tartarus, I feel like, will drop a bunch of high-powered zombies around you. Even though Tartarus is the, the undead branch, um, I don't know, I feel like this one just, just kind of makes a bunch of um, easily controllable undead show up near you. Also, there's these skulls, which are kind of weak, but... Uh, they'll just show up, and it's nice to be able to just take control of them. Kind of like I'm a Ured worshipper. Some lacrums. It's nice to take control of those. But I mean, look at this. I just I just took control of the Titan zombie, and uh, it's going to actually be kind of helpful against this Ice Fiend, maybe. Well, it wasn't, but it could have been. Oh, man. Let that dragon um, have fun with that. Um, Eldritch Tentacle that keeps showing up. Alright, so we'll just go into Ice Form real quick. And in Ice Form, we can go over the deep water. That's why I was saying it might be kind of useful here, not just for the resistances. Um, we really want to find a way, um, a way down, just like any other, just like any other hell. But yeah, we'll occasionally use Control Undead, get these various zombies and whatnot. Looks like this guy has a long sort of distortion, so we'll try to kill him first. Oh yeah, there's Hydra. Hydra skeletons and Hydra zombies. What is going on here? Um, the world, there's a world binder? Oh, there there's two world binders next to me and I'm just blind. I don't understand where those world binders came from. Uh, I guess it's a hell effect. Okay. Okay, I want this Quicksilver Dragon Simulac from far away from me, so I order it to retreat. Yeah, I'm just using um, I'm just using ice form to hop over the deep water. Um, I certainly could use power leap if I felt like it, but I want to keep exhaustion off um, for reasons that probably should be obvious.
having Apocalypse available is a nice panic button. And if you recall, we lost a life last time. And even though we finished out Tartarus and um, Dis, we still haven't gotten it back. I forget where I lost that life, actually. It was one of those two. Relatively recently, probably in Dis itself. Alright, floor two. Uh, let's power leap this way. Eat a bunch of torments, unfortunately. I'm trying to take this guy out. Jeez. What are we taking damage from? Uh, the Blizzard Demon's still nabbing us with Smite, but that's okay. We have zombies to take him out, and we have very sharp stone claws. Just use Control Undead to keep this stuff on my side. It'll fight amongst itself. Uh, they will fight amongst themselves, rather, as the charm wears off. Hmm. I think I'll send them to kill this blizzard demon. Jeez. Taking cold damage from this, um... From uh, Halifax, actually. You know, I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a rest. I'll take a rest down here. I'll just pop out of Kokitas real fast and get my hit points back. No shame in heading down, you know. fact, if it's the most... I mean, if you can guarantee that you can safely get your health back, it's probably the smart thing to do, even if it does slow you down a bit. Because, you know, Kokitas will be there for you. Or whatever hell you're trying to dive will be there for you. Wasn't in stat form when I got tormented there, so without stat form, I'm, like, I'm only RN plus, which is just not enough. Hmm. Okay, we'll hunt for a downstairs, and we find one. Uh, we will power leap. Unfortunately, we eat a torment. It looks like, yeah. We'll just we'll just rest up a bit. And let this undead stuff do the work for us. And we'll just rest and let each thing die one at a time. It's not that I'm, like, scared of this stuff. Um, I'm not. It's just that... Uh, I'll, on the off chance that I take a little more damage while I'm resting up, I would rather, I would rather just not. So, what are you going to do? I mean, this is a fun and useful way to minimize the amount of damage you're going to take because only one thing comes off at the same time. Or, only one, only one charm ends usually at any given time. Let's go down instead of trying to fight that Ice Fiend. Okay, we're lucky enough to find a downstairs right here. We'll... See if we can't rest up a bit. Ooh, the Shard Shrike. Um, let's try to confuse him. We get the Confuse. No need to fight it. In fact, I probably should have just taken the Stab and went down instead of trying to Confuse. But that's fine. Let's get the Stab on this guy. Get the Stab on these guys. Get the Stab. Oh, our Stabbing Adventure's over. We will get the Fire Giant Skeleton on our side. And we'll just... We'll just keep doing that. We're up to six necromancy now, which means that our control undead is already pretty powerful. But certainly has a ways to go. Unfortunately, as a felid, um, your spell power is not going to be great. 
Uh, your intelligence is okay, um, especially if you start as a caster, uh, especially a pure caster. Um, but oh, jeez, got that torment. I'll just power leap these guys. But, yeah, um, like, your spell power is not going to be as good as... I'm not even comparing it to, like, a deep elf. I mean, yeah, deep elves, of course, have amazing intelligence. I'm comparing it to, like, a human. And why won't it be as good? The reason is spell slots, or uh, equipment slots, rather. Because of equipment slots, uh, you're just not going to have access to um, spell staves, for instance. Um, you're not going to have access to Arc Magi robes. Uh, you're not going to have access to really anything except for rings. And, I mean, okay, you, you, could, you could use a ring of ice or a ring of fire. That limits you to ice and fire. As far as I know, there's no such thing as a ring with Arc Magi on it. Uh, maybe there's... I guess there's that Ring of the Mage, but I think that's not Arc Magi. That's like, that's like Double Wiz or something. Or maybe it's MR++. Ring of the Magi. Ring of the Mage. Wizardry, MR++, and plus 3 int. So yeah, you're limited to items that happen to have plus int on them. Um, but having access to a straight-up spell enhancer is better in a lot of cases. If your intelligence is already high... The math of the thing works out such that you would rather you'd rather have the spell power enhancer directly. So unless you're unless you're willing to a um, eat the resistance penalty for using a fire or ice ring, and b uh, be forced to use fire or ice, you're pretty much out of luck on spell enhancers uh, as a felon. Not so for Octopodes, since, of course, you have access to the staff. But there's a reason why Deep Elves are the kings of casting. And it's not just their massive intelligence, it's the, it's the access to the spell slots in combination with the massive intelligence. The, the Arc Magi um, robe, and then you can get Enhancer on your staff, and then you could augment that with like a fire or an ice ring if you also happen to be in those schools. So that's why I don't, um, I do not think that as a felid, um, not, I don't necessarily think that going for like, uh, that going for something like, oh geez, that's a flaming scythe and I didn't even prepare for it. Let's pop that on. Um, I don't necessarily think that going for like Firestorm or Glaciate or one of those big damage like, spell power is super important kind of spells. Um, I don't necessarily think that's the route that you should take if you want to play a successful felid. I mean, you could do it. Spell power, you know, fire, Firestorm at any spell power is going to be really strong. Um, but if you're talking about strictly what's, uh, what's ideal, you know, I think that summoning or transmuting or th things that are a little less reliant upon spell power to be really good um, might be a better move. Oh wow, we've got... check this out. See, we have quite an army here. Quite an army here. And I'm just kind of spamming control undead. I can even control skeleton warriors if I'm careful about it. Let's blink, just across some water. Um, wasn't really necessary, but that's fine. I'm just trying to get down to the next floor. As usual, I'm not going to explore this. I mean, if you're in the hells, there's no reason to clear out every single floor. I don't think loot can spawn here. Um, I don't know, I think this is long overdue for a 
for an overhaul, like extended in general. Maybe not the Hells. I actually really like the design of the Hells. It's, it's tedious, but in a way that I think is fun. I mean, maybe if you just hate tedium, then, then you should avoid it. But the game doesn't force you to do it, for starters. Um, so you don't, you don't have to. And unlike Pandemonium, you know exactly how far you've got to go. The game can only juke you for so long. It can only, it can only make you wait for so long until you, you, you gotta, it's gotta give you the rune. You get seven floors each. It can only make it so annoying. And that's, that's why I do the Hells first, rather than Pandemonium, because Pandemonium could make me wait, like, 50 floors if it felt like it. It's not likely, but it can. Alright, we're down on the bottom floor. Use a magic mapping. Even though I'm reasonably... You know, I, I have a pretty good understanding of what these floors are going to be, just by seeing the entrance. I like to use a magic mapping anyway. Um, just so it's impossible for me to make a mistake in terms of the layout, um, or at least it's harder. Because nothing's worse than heading in a particular direction because you expect some feature to be there, like a wall or an entrance or whatever. Oh man, this is making me wish I had shatter, because if you do, you can just like boom, 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 right in. Cause this is just regular stone. It's not. It's not like immune to shatter or anything. I may do the old um, immolate zombie trick on Antaeus. We'll see. I might just grab the rune and leave. Yeah, I get that instant stab on the demon. Boy, our our stab damage is getting ludicrous. Kind of makes me want to train stealth up to 27. Let's, let's blink across this. Uh, the entrance we're looking for, of course, is, as I showed you before, right in here. So that's why it's so nice to be able to just walk across this bridge and jump in there. Uh, we'll see if we can't control this Hydra Simulacrum. Hmm, I kind of want this Hydra Simulacrum to be my buddy um, in perpetuity. <laughs> uh, if I can pull him... If I could just pull him towards Antaeus, he would be handy, but... Sadly, uh, my Freezing Wraith takes him out. That's fine. He probably wouldn't have killed Antaeus for me anyway. Now, I haven't been using um, Discord that much, but don't think I've forgotten about it or anything. It's just not very useful in here. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was trying to say, oh boy, because now we've got um, the Serpent of Hell. Kind of got tongue-tied for a second there. Um, this dude, I'm sure that I've run into him before, but probably only on the Octopode run. I think this is only my second run on video, um, where I've done 15 runes. This dude is guaranteed to show up in one of the Hells, at least I think he is. Um, and he does an enormous amount of damage with his um, breath and has various abilities based on which hell he shows up in. Of course, he has ice themed ones because he is uh, here in Kokitas. So, um, unfortunately, his beam entry isn't specific to the color of, um, you know, like right now he's kind of like a white dragon, so he's got coal attacks. 
I assume that it's about the same amount of damage, so we'll assume that his cold breath can do like a hundred and about a hundred damage. Yeah. Sounds about right. Okay. Um, and he has clouds, and he has flash freeze, which will keep us from moving. And he can always summon dragons. So let's um let's walk backwards. I'm trying to think. Is he immune to cold, I assume? Yeah, he's immune to cold. And his MR is high enough that we cannot confuse him. So we'll probably... Let's just um, walk over. Okay, unfortunately he sees us immediately. So let's send our dudes to attack him. Do I want to haste? I don't think I want to haste. I think I want to make a forest, take a step so the forest is hitting him. Uh, blink, he tears through my hydra, unfortunately. Uh, I'll drink a heal wounds. I'm going to be pretty, um, I'm going to be, as usual, I'm going to be pretty liberal about using potions since I have that minus potion that pops up occasionally. All right, this isn't half bad. We've got some buddies next to us, even if they're not going to do much damage. Um, we're just going to swing on this 280 hit point dragon and hope that he dies. And he might, because we do a ton of damage. And uh, Rue, of course, can help us out. Serpent of Hell bites itself twice, claws itself, tramples itself. So he can get a little bit suicidal there. Of course, he can do a lot of damage to us too, so we want to keep that in mind. Wow, we are doing a lot of damage, though. Four exclamation points. All right, he abjures our dryad. Not that big of a deal. Mm. Of course, we can always um, finish this out with an apocalypse at any time, since he's almost dead. Maybe even a power leap, but turns out we can just stab him to death, or attack him to death. Um, okay. Let's rest up. We're rather hurt. We don't want to go after Antaeus in this in this condition. Hmm. Let's go into ice form. Since this guy mostly relies on ice damage. And he has a lightning bolt too, but we're we're Arlac. Cool. The wraiths take care of that for us. Man, this game doesn't want to. It doesn't want to let me get a rest in. The reason I've been controlling them and then attacking them is that can give you a stab. Anti-magic scythe. What a shame. All right, that's fine. We'll just use these undead to take this guy out. All right, I'm gonna train stealth now. I've got necromancy up to up to twelve. Oh, we'll get this dire element. Element. Elephant. Reaper takes out the simulacrum pretty easily. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Every single time I start to rest, something else shows up. Some of this stuff is coming from around the corner. Um, blast of cold. Oh, man. I'm going to make a forest. I... I guess I'll power leap. Wouldn't it be nice if the Dryad could heal me? It has this minor healing ability, but it only heals itself. I think before I said that it can heal allies, but really it is just healing himself.
Hmm. The bone dragon. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's blink. Let's discord a couple more times. These ice dragons should do a little work for us. All right, that bone dragon is, uh, he's ready to do some work. He's frenzied, ice dragon's frenzied, other ice dragon's frenzied. I don't think this ice fiend's gonna last much longer. Um, I'll just wait. Oh, man. We got, uh, tormented. Unfortunately, I still don't really have the ability to um, do damage at range without Yara's. Oh, I miscast invisibility. I'm going to invis the Ice Fiend and then Yara's him so he'll die. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, man. Like, as soon as I rested, charge strike. Outrageous, man. Oh, and an ice fiend. And another ice fiend. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we'll... Unfortunately, we can't. Um, it's kind of funny because he is magic immune, uh, but we can still invis him. I gotta text you. Let me turn that off. Right. Um, so yeah, we can still invis him, which lets us um, Yara's him. Although we don't have the mana for Yara's, I should have looked at that first. Um, let's. Mm -hmm. Let's, um, let's fog, I think. I don't like using fog right now because I only have, like, mm, five, but we'll fog anyway. Take a step back, let him come to us. Now we'll Yara's him. Oh, I forgot. You can actually, um, he's not undead. He's a demon, so he can be mutated. So that's cool. Um, that might be, like, a go-to strategy now because he's got minus eight AC from that. And we one-shot him quite easily. <laughs> Let's see if the game will let us rest finally. I do kind of wish that the, the timer would be a little less random. on the um, Halifax. This is kind of interesting. This, this Kraken that's our friend now. <laughs> Oh, we got smited, but that's okay. The Kraken takes out. <laughs> yeah, we just have this friendly Kraken now. That's pretty cool. Every so often he gets uh, mad and tries to kill us, but we'll just... This is actually pretty cool. Stat form, control. Uh, let's take a step. Uh, unfortunately, we get tormented. Power leap. Oh man, the Kraken didn't do much to help us there. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I find this so funny. Um, just all these tentacles that are our buddies. You can't usually get a Kraken on your side, so uh, it's kind of it's just fun. Should be like a summon Kraken spell. All 
Uh, we'll just kill this Hydra. One of these days, I'm going to have full hit points, I swear. We'll power leap out of these ice clouds. You know what? This is just making it take longer to heal, so we'll kill the Hydra. Goodbye. Um, I'm going to fight off these skeleton warriors. As long as the game doesn't throw, like, ice fiends at me, then I should be fine. And there's another ice fiend. But that's okay, we get the uh, stab and he dies very quickly. these hydras do the work for us. Nice. Okay, we'll go into ice form. Oh man, there's some, that's a kick in the teeth, Wormbane. I guess if it showed up this late, we probably wouldn't swap just to use it, but Wormbane's fun. It's more fun in theory than in practice. Um, in reality, it doesn't actually do that much damage, uh, but it's still pretty nice. Really nice weapon. It charges up as you kill dragons. All right, so in this ending to Kokitas, uh, the rune will either be on this side or this side, and there's really no way to find out which, as far as I know, except to look. Of course, um, Antaeus is going to be probably with the rune. All right, um, I have discorded these shard shrikes, and I'm going to let them kill this ice fiend for me. Or try to. Oh man. Oh man, he's right there. Stat form. Um, we're in vapor, but we're in a cloud of freezing vapor, but we'll still fight him and kill him because we want him to die as fast as possible. All right, here he is. Um, we do not, we do not have, um, apportation, so we're going to just passage... guess that it made a passage and something walked into it, maybe? He can do a ton of damage to us, so let's try Apocalypse. Doesn't do much to Antaeus. Um, that's how, that's just how strong he is. Ooh, a Might Potion. Um, we'll take a step, hope we don't get hit. We don't. He can do an enormous amount of damage, so that's for the best. Uh, let's Grab that. Teleport. Uh, make a pog out here. I'll step in here. I'll step in here. And the teleport kicks off. We have the rune. Oh, there's a book. I just saw that. My greed. My greed's getting the best of me here. I gotta get that book. It could be Malign Gateway. It could be what I need. Hmm. I should probably formulate a plot to actually kill this dude. Ooh. Transformation's ending. Oh, there's Antaeus. 
All right, let me think about this. Um, normally, you would use Cure RA to kill him. Really great strategy. Um, in this particular case, that's not so hot um, because we can't we can't do that. So. Maybe I'll just do this. Let's try to frenzy these guys. Whoops, didn't mean to Discord again. What I wanted to do was make more snakes. I guess I'll drink, um, I'll drink a potion of magic so I can make even more snakes. They really aren't doing much work against him, are they? We'll blink. Confusing touch. I guess we could try to... Oh, he's magic immune. Mm. I was going to say we could try to... We could try to get uh, confused on him with a scroll of vulnerability, but that's not going to happen because he's magic immune. We could try the confusing touch. Hmm. Let's get the blink. Let's, let's just pog. Hmm. What's the problem? It's probably not enough space. Yeah. Um... I think I'm just going to distract him with snakes. Technically, we could kill him with enough snakes if we really wanted to. I'm not so sure we want to. It's not like he has anything we need. It's not like we can use that staff of power even if we wanted it. Let's go back into a cat because we move fast. I, I think that... <laughs> we could use, um... Oh, he's susceptible to fire. Okay, let's do something fun. <laughs> wow, and he still doesn't die. Wow, okay. Um, I thought for sure that would just kill him instantly. I thought I was being clever. He's susceptible to fire, so you'd think that nine immolations would be enough. Now I just want to kill him on principle with these snakes. We still have 832 arrows, so we're not going to run out anytime soon. I'd be more concerned about running out of mana. Unfortunately, wait, did he die? Oh, Antaeus dies. Antaeus dies to an adder, and we got we got all of our drain off from that. <laughs> so, uh, how about that? That's got to be demoralizing. Dying to an adder. Was it worth it? Not on this one. Um, I guess we could get fire. I was thinking about the spell power thing I was talking about earlier. I suppose you could get another way of um, another way of getting a fire boost would be to use that ring of flames. But we're not doing that. Um, wow. 
Oh yes, there it is. There's the Grand Grimoire. So we will amnesia off, summon forest. We'll we'll memorize Malign Gateway, which is more or less a direct upgrade. And we already have that mostly castable. Um, let's let's pop on translocations and summonings until it's a little bit less red. Okay, so that was worth it. That was that was worth the shenanigans of the shenanigans of the snake apocalypse. So we'll just go back to the vestibule. I probably should have taken the same route that I the, you know, like the left way around rather than the right, since there's bound to be a few things here. And, but whatever, it's never, it's never uneventful. Wait, what? Why did it? Oh, jeez. Oh, it wants to, what am I doing? I want to go down here and I want to blink. This is what I get for letting the auto, letting the auto mover try to take me. Was trying to take me the long way. Okay, so Serpent of Hell downed, um, and Teus downed, even though it wasn't strictly necessary. Cool. And that leaves just Gehenna left as far as Hells go. Go ahead and pop on Pro Fire. Um, we'll probably stay staff form in here, even if dragon form gives us, gives us RF, uh, just to avoid getting tormented too hard. But we have a new weapon in our arsenal now, which is my favorite spell of Malign Gateway. Um, that'll be really handy, I think, going forward, and especially in Pandemonium. So I'll cut the video here, and we'll do Gehenna next. Hope you guys enjoyed.